Hello, my name is Liza. I am 18 years old. I am an HMC scholar here at Chigwell School. I came to England two years ago to study my A-levels. Boarding at Chigwell feels like being at home to me uh, because the community is really small in a good way. There are only 30 boarders, there are only 30 of us international students. Uh, in my house there are overall six girls and there are four houses at school so yeah you can calculate that there are 28 of us. And um, I've got friends from Ukraine who are studying in other different uh, British schools that are boarding schools and they have more students than we do, about 60 people in one house. Sometimes you may feel lonely even though there are so many people, you, you still, some of my friends still struggle to find people to talk to whereas I don't have I didn't have such an issue here my roommates are like my sisters uh, I can always talk to them uh, I know that they're my really close friends we never have any issues any you know arguments um, I always know that they're there to help and I think that's because the the atmosphere at Chickwell feels like family atmosphere to me so I enjoy boarding here I enjoy having house parents uh, my house parents are really helpful. Um, I used to have some issues with my health, uh, so my house mom uh, offered great help to me, which I'm really grateful to her for this. Uh, so I would say it's been it's it's been wonderful, and um, it's been it's been great uh, to be able to feel like at home, even when being so far away from your family. Uh, this is my boarding house. It's called Church House because it is right the opposite to the church. Uh, I live with two other girls, Agnes from China and Gosha from Poland. We share a room, however, we all have our own small parts. So my part of the room is separated from the girls' part with a door. So technically, I'm in my own small room. Um, also, we share bathrooms. We have two bathrooms on the floor, one with a bath and a toilet, and another bathroom with two showers, two sinks, and two toilets. So it's very convenient. There is never uh, any problems in the morning to you know, wash your face or brush your teeth. There is always space for you to do, to do that. Uh, also, we have a kitchen downstairs where I cook all the time. You've got the fridge, you've got the, the cooker, anything, everything you need. And we have a lovely lady called um, Vera. She helps us clean the house every day. So she does our laundry. She, she just, um, she's our fairy. Without her, I, I, I don't know what we would do. Uh, yeah, we've got a big common area with a TV where we can watch the movie or uh, just spend time chatting. And the piano as well. It's right there. Uh, we also used to have one there, um, but here now we have a table where we usually have house dinners with the house parents and rest of the girls. And here is the piano. I personally found settling in at Chigwell School quite easy. I think, first of all, this is because I arrived here with a student who was already studying at Chigwell, a girl from Ukraine. We were on the plane together and I actually met her in the airport. She was really open. So she contacted me when she was here at Chigwell and I was still back in Ukraine and we became friends and I was asking her different questions. So when I came here, I already knew what to expect, which was a big plus for me. But I know that there are many students who never heard anything uh, from any current students in Chigwell before coming to the school. Um, that's why I think that all the events and activities that are happening here in the first week when you arrive are so important. Because, for example, when I came, there was this week when uh, Chigwell School organized different uh, going out for us. So we went to London to an escape room together with other boarders. 
which was really nice because you get to know people, you spend time doing an activity which is fascinating, you have fun and uh, apart from that we also had different dinners together. Uh, boarders themselves are quite willing to get to know the younger ones, the new people who are coming in, uh, as well as the day students. You are going to be uh, assigned with a, a mentor, you're going to be given a mentor and this is a day student and this person will be following you everywhere. I think you will actually be following him or her everywhere and asking questions. That's why I would say that the process of transition and settling in went really really well for me here at Chigwell School. Um, I wake up in the morning which is quite early usually because I'm an early bird. So I wake up at 6.30 and I make my own breakfast. I don't go to the dining hall, however there is an option for you to have breakfast with the rest of the boarders, the rest of the students. After that, after breakfast, there is a, a call over, uh, which is the time when you meet with your tutor and you need to sign in. And also you listen to the announcements of events or activities that are going to be happening later on in the day. And after that you go to your first lesson. After first lesson you have a five minute break and you go to your period two. Then there is a longer break which lasts, if I'm not mistaken, 25 minutes. And we usually hang out in the coffee shop downstairs in the sixth form center where you can get panini or any other sweets or maybe coffee, a cup of hot chocolate, you just chat, someone catches up with some work um, or reads a book. And then we have period three, five minute break, period four. Then it's tutor time. You meet with your tutor and um, uh, it, it actually it varies. You can either meet with your tutor or you can have an assembly, a year assembly or just your house assembly or you can go to a church which usually happens every Friday um, once, once a fortnight on Friday uh, or what else can it be or you can be in a chapel yeah so after that you have lunch uh, from 1 to 150 because at 155 you need to be in your tutor class reading a book this time is called Dear drop everything and read so you pick a book that you like. It should be something not related to your academic studies, academic studies. It can be something that you just enjoy reading in your free time. And yeah, you spend 15 minutes there uh, and you go to your uh, period five. Then again, five minute break and your last period. And that's the end of the school day. After that, you come back home. Uh, you have free time till six because at six there is dinner in the dining hall. And from seven to nine, you have prep, which is the time when you should be inside the house. You are supposed to be studying, uh, doing some work, preparing for your next day at school. And from nine to 10.30, 10.30 it's the curfew, you are free to relax. You can either go to the shops or you can stay inside. You are allowed to have people coming over to your house. I usually watch the movie with someone or I can call my parents. And then at 10.30 you, I personally go to bed. Some of the people continue studying, uh, but I have a schedule that I try to uh, follow. So yeah, I think that's what my typical day looks like. At Chickwell School, there are different activities for, uh, for different people. I mean, if you can find literally anything uh, here in terms of what to occupy yourself with. If you're interested in sports, there are multiple options for you to explore that. Uh, my friend Clyde, maybe you know him already, he's doing football, so he uh, plays for a football team here. Um, so if you're into sports, there are options here for, for, for you. Uh, if you like debating, there is a debate club that I take part in. Uh, there are different also debating uh, events that you can participate outside of school, but Chigul School prepares you for them. Uh, also, if you would like to start your own club or society, you have an opportunity to do so. I myself started the International Relations Club and there is the Feminism Society that is run by students. There is LGBTQ Club, there is Journalism Society, Medical Society. So it, it reminds me a bit uh, in, about, 
it reminds me of university type of experience where you can where you are given tools to explore what you like even now uh, apart from that there are many house events happening at school uh, the house music event takes place in october where houses compete with each other uh, and you need to prepare three items different songs it's all great fun if you or if you're playing the musical instrument or if you're into singing you would enjoy it uh, so as you could understand there are actually a lot of different opportunities for you uh, not only uh, inside of school academia wise but also outside to explore yourself and explore your personality and to find out hobbies that you can further continue enjoying in your uh, life at university. As an A-level student here in Chigwell I received a great deal of support with my academics since I I'm from Ukraine and we've got different educational system and what we study is very different from what students do here. Uh, by this I mean that not only the content is different but also your approach to studying uh, is, yeah, it, it is different from what I used to do back in Ukraine. Uh, but a good thing is that teachers are very open uh, and they understand that you as a boarder might need more time to adapt and might need some extra help. So for example, I do psychology, economics and German and I had some issues with writing psychology essays. I just couldn't get my head around how to structure the, the essay, what these paragraphs should have and what they should look like. So after every lesson, I would come to my teacher, I would hand her in my work and she would read it and she would give me a feedback, which was really helpful. So I would say that in terms of teachers, you as a student will, great, will get a lot of support. So if you have any questions, you, you, I'm, I'm, I never hesitate to ask. I know that I'll be, that, and I, I know that I will receive help. Um, plus, uh, we also have um, meetings where we are uh, taught about metacognitions or about uh, how to reduce your stress level before the exams. Uh, we, we, we are told to focus on our study, on studies and on achieving good grades, keeping up with the work, but we are also uh, told that we should have some rest and we are taught how to, ha how to get proper rest. Um, so I, I like that there is this balance at school. As an A-level student at Chikwal, you are given and shown different options of what you can do after you leave school. For example, you can do a degree apprenticeship and we had uh, our former student coming over to Chikwal to talk a bit more about this path because she chose to do a degree apprenticeship in JP Morgan. Apart from that, you can do a gap year or you can also um, explore more the university options. Uh, for instance, we are, uh, we're, we're usually having many different talks from people who uh, come from industry and telling us more about the, the, the job that they are doing, which really helps you as a student to choose what you want to do and what degree you want to pursue in university. So we've got this um, Meet Future talk and Stardust project where there are people um, sharing with us some insight into of their profession, which I've personally found really, really helpful. Um, yeah, but uh, I, I personally want to go to university and I want to study international relations and um, so far I've been really grateful and, um, to receive four offers and um, three of them are from UCL, LSE and King's. It's been hard work but we get all the support we, we need, uh, not only with the academics but also in terms of what to choose and how to choose and where to go. So these are my plans for the next year and I hope that they will become their reality. I would tell younger Liza not to stress out that much. <laughs> breathe in and breathe out more often. Kind of slow down and understand that you have a lot of time. You're going to manage everything. Uh, so don't worry. It, all, it will all be good at the end. And also perhaps to uh, go out more, 
spend more time with the people, with the day students, spend more time going to London, getting the most out of the time while you're here, because this is indeed a great opportunity that we're given to be boarding at a great school somewhere so close to London. Um, so my biggest piece of advice would be to make the most out of your stay here and think big, reach for the stars and just don't be afraid of anything really. If I were to describe my school in three words, I would use competitive, caring and warm.